This is how you're going to break into cybersecurity in 2026. Guys, this is one of the most popular questions I get asked on a daily basis. First of all, first of all, first of all, guys, please do your research. The amount of times I get people coming to me saying they want to be a pen test or a hacker as if that's the only role within cybersecurity, guys. No, 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 no. Stop that. There are plenty of other roles within cybersecurity, right? It's not just SOC analyst and pen test. It is digital forensics, there's cloud security, there's the GRC space. Please research the role you want to go into, research the salary, research what are the requirements to become that specific role that you're targeting, right? Please, please, research is key. Second of all, you need to cover your IT fundamentals. That includes cloud, networking, general IT, right? For example, basic computer hardware and software concepts, things like that, right? And the next one is certifications. There's a lot of information out there, a lot of opinions out there regarding certifications. Some people say you need certifications. Some people say you don't need any certifications. Throw them out the window. Ah, so much. Like, no guys, relax. Do you need certifications? No, but they certainly do help. Especially if you're coming from a non-technical background or non-IT background. And also they showcase that you've been putting in the effort, time and energy to learn these concepts, right? And also a lot of job roles require certain certifications just because of what they showcase, you know, in terms of knowledge, value and skills, right? The most popular one is the CompTIA Security Plus. The CompTIA Security Plus covers general cybersecurity concepts across all the main. Similar thing with the ISE 2 CC, certified in cybersecurity um, certification. It's free for the first time, um, free access to training, free access to the course. So tap into that. If you want to be a SOC analyst, it would be very, be, be very much preferential for you to get some hands-on training, hands-on certifications as well. So looking at the likes of Blue Team Level 1 and the likes of the SAL 1, I'll take a look at that. Now that you've done that, you also need to look at labs, right? What they do is they give you a gamified way or easier way to practice these hands-on skills. So platforms such as Triacne, Let's Defend, or Hack the Box, or there's a million other training platforms. They facilitate online cybersecurity training. All you need is a laptop and internet, right? If you neglect this, you will never, I say it, never get into cybersecurity in 2026. Guys, this aspect is networking. This is a heavily, heavily, heavily underrated aspect of breaking into cyber. The first one would be in-person networking, right? Going to events, guys. There's a lot of a lot of free tech events, um, especially in Cape Town, maybe Joburg, I don't know. But if you live in one of these cities where there's a great amount of tech, tech events, please, please, please take advantage of that. Why? You get to meet people, people looking for talent like you, people are looking for up and coming people like you. So please, please, please tap into that, right? And the second one would be LinkedIn. Now this can be a whole video on its own, right? But yo, a lot of you guys, LinkedIn is like a mess. I meet people who don't have a banner, they don't have a profile pic, their headline is all over the place. So someone will say the headline is aspiring cybersecurity analyst, cloud enthusiast, software developer, web developer, founder, data analyst, AI integration specialist. Like what the hell? <laughs> like if someone goes to your profile, no one's gonna know like what are you interested in? What are you actually good at? So please, please optimize your LinkedIn. And then another thing regarding your LinkedIn is your connections. Like how? How do you have less than a thousand connections? 2026. If you have less than like a thousand connections in 2026 or on LinkedIn, that means you're basically a nobody. When you post, you get like probably less than 10 interactions or 10 likes or whatever. So go and connect with people. LinkedIn is free. Connect with people within your field, within cybersecurity or within your specific cybersecurity domain. For example, you want to be a pen tester, go and connect with other pen testers on LinkedIn, right? Maybe message one or two, ask for advice or tips. LinkedIn is very, very important, right? You're gonna post your journey there, people are gonna follow you. That's where recruiters are gonna reach out to you. That's where hiring managers are gonna scope you out just to find out a bit more about you. So please use that. And another thing regarding LinkedIn is the posting consistency. Some people have never posted or they post at whew, irregular paces. One person might post once every three months. So like, you know, if you have no headshots, 
you have no banner or even a real account. A lot of the people which have helped land cyber jobs, most of the opportunities come through LinkedIn. Just from them putting themselves out there, LinkedIn is still, still heavily, heavily underrated. This aspect is crucial when breaking into cybersecurity in 2026, and that is your knowledge base, right? Tapping into the knowledge base. What I mean by this, right? Reading articles, listening to podcasts, on my way to work, I'll just listen to a cyber podcast, and you might pick up some, some wisdom, some gems from those conversations. So it's really important that you tap into that. Um, don't just rely on certifications and labs for, for knowledge. Listen to the industry greats, industry giants, tap into that. Another aspect would be projects, highly underrated. A lot of people don't have cybersecurity projects. Um, you learn a lot more by doing it yourself, breaking things, getting your hands on, getting your hands dirty, right? Um, for example, if you, if you want to be a pen tester, you can pen test a vulnerable web app and then write a pen test report. Showcase your skills, you know, showcase your knowledge. Tap into that, right? Projects are very, really cool. And you put them on your CV. You can showcase the skills you, the skills you have, but they can also showcase the impact that that certain project has. Last aspect, this is literally a game changer. This is finding mentorship and a community. When I was breaking into cybersecurity, I made so many mistakes. I was wasting time doing useless courses. I was wasting money on useless certifications. Think about it, right? You are trying to break into uh, the most technical, the most hardest, most competitive um, tech domains, right? Which is cybersecurity, all on your own, with no mentorship, no community, no <laughs> connections within the industry, right? What a good mentor will do is they're gonna just give you a good roadmap, some guidance. You know, most people, they do not have a lot of people in their personal life who are actively breaking into cybersecurity. So if I had a mint at the beginning, beginning, I would have been a CISO by now. Oh my God, bro. Oh, hell no, man, what the f Okay, now I'm joking. But like, I would have been very, very far. So a lot of mistakes were made within like that first six to 12 months. Uh, but eventually you find a few mentors, uh, stick to one or two good mentors and then they'll take you far. And then the community aspect, again, that's the game changer, right? Community. So when you get into cybersecurity, you need to have mentors and a community, right? So that is what we provide in Hacking Up, but um, there's many other communities out there as well. There's Hack South, there's B-Sides, Joburg and Cape Town, there's Zero X Coffee, um, and there's others that I'm missing right now. And also in terms of mentors, myself, I had mentors like Mr. Fingers or Mr. Grant, for example. Looking for a community of Highly ambitious cybersecurity individuals ready to break into or excel in the career. Um, please reach out so you can join that, you know. Otherwise, enjoy this video.